Greetings, my name is Oswald Wiener. I am the chairperson of the Board of Governors for the CEO Africa Roundtable. The CEO Africa Roundtable is a platform created to provide African CEOs an opportunity to transact, an opportunity to exchange ideas, an opportunity to, you know, do business. It is a platform that is meant to galvanize towards getting about 10,000 members to be looking at creating an African business uh, thrive in the global market. CEO Africa Roundtable has managed to superintend over deals over the last two years in excess of $300 million. We have made investment missions to countries that are interested in investing in Africa. Some of them interested in investment in, in Zimbabwe. We continue to uh, celebrate the fact that our membership continues to grow. We are now present in, 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 in countries in the Sub-Saharan Africa, and we are now making our inroads into Central and North, North Africa too. So our programs certainly enhances the ability of the CEO to make critical management decisions that enhances the growth of their companies, that ensures that they engage with critical networks, that value add their markets, that value add their own operations, that induce productivity. So we, we, we believe that uh, beyond this, the potential is high. We've engaged as well with public policy to a large extent. Public policy in Zimbabwe and public policy in the region, public policy in the continent at large. So CEO of the Roundtable comes in as, a, as, as, as an alternative to ensuring that there is a, a coordinated collaboration between public service and private sector. We are happy though that uh, uh, the 2020 Roundtable would then become testimony to this particular manifestation. This is our premier event. This seventh edition is unique. It is looking at in industry, industrialization, industry 4.0. We are gathered in Victoria Falls, our traditional home, to ensure that we have engaged ourselves in the new de uh, you know, developments in industrialization. The unique aspect about this round table this time around is that we are actually going to in, in, institute or create or add to the program deal rooms. We are going to engage with projects. We are going to be engaged with transactions. And the 2020 Roundtable has a very unique flair of ensuring that we can quantify the amount of deals that will have been signed at the event by the time of the end of the year. We have a variety of esteemed, eloquent speakers from throughout, the, the, from throughout Africa. And not by mentioning names, the program has got speakers from Zimbabwe, speakers from South Africa, speakers from Ethiopia. It's, it's, it's a broad uh, uh, offering of, 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 of uh, credible, knowledgeable speakers that we are going to be providing this year around. CEO Africa Roundtable has a wide range of, 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 of programs that we are going to be uh, rolling out 2020 and beyond. I'll start by saying that we are also very knowledgeable about the need for growing small businesses. We are rolling out mentorship programs for young CEOs. Those CEOs who are uh, you know, running smaller portfolios and uh, who are quite organized in those smaller portfolios. We will be rolling out programs to ensure that they are momented by those that have seen it all. The second one is that we've got a very deliberate a program of training. Training CEOs in a variety of areas that enhances the CEO's capacity, the CEO's credibility, the CEO's ability to be able to make decisions on the board. We want to try and induce 
development of an e-CEO, e-director, somebody who makes decisions on the go, conforming to the current dictates, dictates of, uh, of technology. The third one is that we have signed up a number of um, synergies with higher learning institutions. We are excited about our collaboration with the African University, where we are training CEOs programs that enhances their ability to, 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 to run effective businesses at every given time. And number four, the CEO Roundtable is going to be doing a deliberate membership drive across the continent. That membership drive has started in earnest, and we are going to be you know, launching branches throughout the continent. And number five, look, I think Africa needs investment. So there are two sides to it. The first side is that we must be able to educate Africa on what sort of investment Africa needs and ensure that we have capacitated our decision makers to allow them to interpret and evaluate any suitors for the benefit of the Africans. On the other side, we also want to tap into the foreign markets to ensure that we have gone into those markets, identify potential uh, suitors to African businesses and credible suitors for that matter, for the sake of, of, of the African CEOs, on a win 50-50, on, sorry, on a win-win basis. I think the CEOs in Zimbabwe, the CEOs in Africa, need to understand that for you to be able to progress and succeed as a CEO, you must belong to a group of like-minded CEOs. The richer the network, the better for your business. There's no other platform that the CEOs would be comfortable belonging to other than the round table. We have deliberately created synergistic platforms, both locally and externally. And I invite all of you not only to attend our 2020 round table, which is quite exciting, but also to sign up for membership. Because the more we are, the more uh, you know, rich and valuable the platform will be. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page, 263chat.